So for the living, dining, kitchen space, we'll call it, um, it's obviously all open plan. So from a tonal perspective, I was like, we're gonna work with beige, we're gonna work with brown, we're gonna work with off-white, gray, maybe some olives, keep it this really sort of like, the tones are all on this like wave, so nothing feels too out of place. Um, and also on that note, I kept the walls white as well because I wanted everything to just have a really simple and clear palette to work from. So there wasn't anything like competing, you know, for your attention. And then I started thinking about textures. So I started with the floor and obviously because the floor is this incredibly nice, slightly whitewashed oak, um, I thought I can play around with tones. The kitchen's oak is slightly warmer and has more of a yellow undertone. Um, so it gave me the flexibility to work within those two colors, but also like if I wanted to contrast slightly, I could. So the dining table, um, I wanted something that had a slightly deeper oak, um, kind of walnutty color. Um, it hasn't arrived, so it might be slightly different, but when it arrives, um, we'll see and hopefully it will go well. But the, the color I picked, it just feels like a nice contrast. And similarly to the coffee table, I picked a tone that's a bit more colder, a bit similar to the floor, but it's darker. And so it's a nice contrast still, but again, it just fits within that sort of um, spectrum of wood shades that I, I thought would complement the pre-existing oak in the space. Neptune have quite a few really incredible extendable tables. So we've gone with one called the Morton, kind of similar to this one, has a similar oak top. However, the legs are just like straight. Um, you can also get them in custom colors, which is quite nice. It feels a bit farmhousey, but it still feels a bit contemporary. And because I went for the straight leg, it feels timeless as well. Um, so this isn't quite the one, but this is in the, in the same family, I would say. Focusing on the living space, I I wanted it to be comfortable. I was looking at like depth of chairs. I was looking at the feel, you know, of the fabrics. I didn't want to have a living room that looked really chic, but I never used because it wasn't comfortable. So um, working with Oka, they had some really cool pieces that had really deep chairs. I'll find out the exact one, but I believe this one was about like sort of 80 centimeters deep, which is pretty deep for a sofa. Um, and I wanted one where I could literally sit like this or like cross my legs or like lie down. Oh, no regrets. It's very comfy, washable, a good depth, as I mentioned. And one of the main features that I went for this chair is the arms. I like the way that it goes down. And it's one of the sofas that Oka has that um, comes pre-made, it's already made. So usually the weights are a couple of weeks of it's in stock, which is quite nice. Now, a big thing is I freaking love TVs. I love watching everything. And so I like the idea of this being like a really great cinematic experience. And obviously, as you guys know, I've worked with Samsung for a while now. And so um, I've actually bought their frame, but then they also gave me a frame. So now I have two Samsung frames and I'm using the bigger one in the main space. But I've decided to put it on an easel because a, my easel is really robust and on wheels, um, but also I thought it would look so nice because the frame has this like outer border that um, gives it like an actual nice frame element to it. So I went for a sort of teak wood border. I think it just goes really well with um, the other wood tones. Okay, we are in my living room. Um, this is really interesting kind of going through the space and, and talking about it. It feels a bit surreal because I still don't feel like this is my space. I feel like I'm holding it for someone. Um, like I decorated it and now someone else is gonna move in and I'm just here in the meantime. But I guess it is my space, so I will tell you a bit about why I've done what I've done. Um, we'll start with the tapestries. I knew I wanted something that felt special in the space. And I think I told you guys, tapestries are such a fun way to add 
so much life, so much presence and so much history. Uh, and when I came across this one, it really felt like a secret garden and I thought I want it to be somewhere that everyone can see. I could have easily put it in my bedroom or the guest room, but I thought, no, put it somewhere where everyone can really enjoy and get lost in it. And um, yeah, it's one of those pieces that a lot of people just like stand here and just stare at. And I don't say anything. I let them kind of have that moment as they should because I do it often too. And I'm really glad that other people are feeling what I feel or feeling just different things when they look at it. But yeah, this tapestry is amazing. Obviously it's vintage. Um, I've been collecting tapestries for a while now. So, you know, I might be rotating every so often, but for now, this is, this is the one that gets the, I guess signature location um, and so within this corner we've got obviously a really great love seat um, I knew I wanted somewhere I could get cozy and put my feet up <laughs> and so um, this like two-piece obviously it's all from the same family from Oka uh, is really fun because it's so cozy and I feel like I'm really in a little nook initially this corner um, the apartment they had like decorated it like I think they put like a a TV stand and the TV was basically here and I was just like no, no 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 this corner for me is all about having a bit of privacy and so we've got this moment we've got this and then we've got this incredibly cool light whenever I touch it honestly it feels like it feels like a reinforced spider web and I don't know how else to describe it but obviously it's not um, and it's from firm living it is such a cool light the shape the color everything um, I've put a hue light bulb in there so I'm able to adjust it um, however I want and it just feels like the perfect way to pull everything in this section together. Um, easy access to the bar is always good so that too. Nice. You, should, you should touch it too. See what I mean about it. Oh my god yeah. You know what I mean? It feels like it, it could like break cotton, but it's... It feels like cotton wool. Yeah but like, like stretched it out though stretched. yeah. Within the living room, we also have this chess set that I was really excited about that I kept in a box forever. And I think I probably mentioned it a few times. Um, same artist as the ones on the console. So it's by foam. And I don't know if I'll ever play it, mostly because I don't know how to play chess, but it's great to look at. And obviously fits into this whole vibe within this space, which is quite neutral and quite beige, quite calming. And so naturally, when I was thinking about when I was playing games and Xboxes, etc., I decided my controller had to match the area. So Xbox do this really cool thing where, yeah, you can design your own. And it's actually, I think about just like five pounds more. So it's not like a crazy grand gesture I did, but it was just something that I thought would look really nice and just having it within this space. I mean, it's so cool. I mean, that's real. It's, it's, a, it's a nice little touch here. One more thing just to mention whilst we're in here is light. I think you can probably tell light around my apartment is, is quite an important thing. And so I make sure that everything has its own like, it's almost like it has its own space in that it's responsible for lighting in a particular way. And so I've put certain lights, certain places that I know will just really fill it in the way that I want that area to fill. So. Here you've got this Noguchi that's obviously slightly bigger than the rest. It has quite a big responsibility because there's nothing really else happening here. So I wanted something that felt like I'm gonna take over the space and really fill it with as much light as possible. And so combining that with a firm living lamp over there and then just like a few little touches around the space, it feels like the light in this place is really quite special and it's, it's one of my favorite parts of this apartment, I think, the way that we've managed to light it in a way that feels soft but also inviting. This is my dining space. So the table and chairs are both from Neptune. This table actually can um, extend to fit 12, but right now it fits six. And even within the current like, you know, setup, it's still really flexible and easy to move around. Um, and because it's a small space, I didn't want to have chairs around the table all the time. I found these really cool chairs and they're really cool, yes, the design's great, it's real wood, it's really heavy, it's really robust. But what really, I don't know, attracted me to them is this. Okay. Okay, that's it. You can fold it 
and put it into storage and it stands all by itself i don't know about you guys i think that's one of the coolest things i've ever seen um and i don't think i've ever seen a dining chair that looks this good from like an aesthetic point of view but also has this technical element of being able to fold so well um and just yeah not take up space so i have six of them and they're so good and they all fold and um yeah neptune really really did something special here so i'm really glad that these are my dining chairs 